we are discussing the colligative properties and today the colligative property is elevation of boiling point what is meant by elevation of boiling point elevation means an increase elevation of boiling point there is an increase in boiling point when when a solvent changes to solution the increase in boiling point when a solvent changes to solution that you can understand very easily from this graph see the graph vapor pressure is plotted against temperature here this orange curve represent vapor pressure curve of solvent at this particular temperature the solvent has a particular vapor pressure and as the temperature increases what happens vapor pressure of the solvent increases and at this point this curve meets the one atmosphere pressure that means at this point vapor pressure of the solvent is equal to one atmosphere <clears throat> means atmospheric pressure so the corresponding temperature that is the boiling point of the solvent represented as t0 b but when the solvent changes to solution by the addition of non volatile solute what happens some of the molecules at the surface of the liquid replaced by non volatile solute molecules therefore the molecules in the gaseous state will be less so the vapor pressure also will be less or we already discussed the vapor pressure of solution is always less than the vapor pressure of solvent if the solute is non volatile so here at this particular temperature see this temperature you can see the vapor pressure of solution is less than that of solvent and as the temperature increases in the case of solution also the vapor pressure will increase but at t0 b you can see the vapor pressure is not equal to atmospheric pressure again you have to increase the temperature and at a higher temperature the vapor pressure of solution becomes equal to atmospheric pressure and this temperature is tb which is the boiling point of solution so boiling point of solution is greater than boiling point of solvent the difference is represented as delta tb that is elevation of boiling point and you know elevation of boiling point is a colligative property means it depends only on number of particles and experiments shown that elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molality of solution elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molality of solution what is molality number of moles per kilogram of solvent that is molality number of moles you can see number of particles number of moles present per kilogram of solvent that is molality so delta tb is proportional to m small letter m m represent molality or delta tb is equal to kb into m kb is a proportionality constant and it is known as molal elevation constant or ebullioscopy constant or boiling point elevation constant different names are used boiling point elevation constant molal elevation constant ebullioscopy constant that is represented as kb and you listen here in this equation if m is equal to 1 if m is equal to 1 then delta tb is equal to kb so what is kb kb is the elevation of boiling point of one molal solution kb is the elevation of boiling point of one molal solution and what is the aim of colligative property measurement it is to measure the or to determine the molecular mass of unknown solute determination of molecular mass of unknown solute so here from this equation delta db is equal to kb into m we can derive an equation to find out the molecular mass of solute m2 delta db is equal to kb into what is molality w2 by m2 into 1000 by w1 substitute the value here then you will get the equation m2 is equal to 1000 into w2 into kb divided by delta tb into w1 this is the equation to determine the molecular mass of unknown solute from elevation of boiling point 
and our next two topic is depression in freezing point. Again, vapor pressure temperature curve. You can see vapor pressure temperature curve. It is the vapor pressure temperature curve of solid solvent. Solid solvent. And you know if it is in the solid state, the vapor pressure will be very low. Uh, if it is a sublimable solid, it has a vapor pressure. And at this particular temperature, you can see at this particular temperature, the, the solid has a particular vapor pressure and the temperature increases, the vapor pressure increases. At this particular point, the uh, change of phase is taking place. That means solid is changing to liquid. And that uh, temperature is known as, that temperature is known as freezing point of the solvent. This temperature is known as freezing point of the solvent. So what is freezing point? It is the temperature at which vapor pressure of liquid means vapor pressure of solid. This is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid means vapor pressure of the solid. That is the freezing point. Freezing point of Uh, the liquid. But in the case of solution, as we already mentioned, the vapor pressure will be less than that of pure solvent. So here you can see the vapor pressure of vapor pressure curve of solution meets the vapor pressure curve of pure solvent in the solid state at a lower temperature, which is represented as T1. Vapor pressure curve of, uh, sorry, the freezing point of pure solvent is represented as T0F. Vapor pressure of uh, solution is represented as TF. The difference that is represented as delta TF. Delta TF, uh, is the difference between the freezing points of solution and the solvent. The freezing point of solution is always less than that of solvent. And that difference, delta Tf, is a colligative property. Depression of freezing point is directly proportional to molality. Again, from the experiments we can identify, the elevation and uh, depression of freezing point is directly proportional to molality M. Delta Tf is equal to a proportionality constant Kf into M, where Kf is molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant. Molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant. If M is equal to 1, then Kf is equal to delta Tf. That means depression of freezing point of one molar solution. So what is Kf? or cryoscopic constant or a molar depression constant. That is the depression of freezing point of one molar solution. What is the aim of colligative property measurement? It is to determine the molecular mass of unknown solute. And from this equation, delta Tf is equal to Kf into M, we can derive an equation to calculate molecular mass of solute. Here delta Tf is equal to Kf into molality. What is molality? W2 by M2 divided by W1 by 1000. Or delta Tf is equal to Kf into W2 into 1000 divided by M2 into W1. M2 is equal to Kf into W2 into 1000 divided by delta Tf into W1. Based on these equations, we can solve some numerical problems. And uh, it has some practical applications also. The depression on freezing one, some practical applications you can see here. Removal of ice from, from the roads or houses of cold countries. When you add sodium chloride to ice, there will be a depression in freezing point of the ice. At the one atmosphere pressure, you know, freezing point of the ice is zero degrees Celsius. When you add uh, small quantities of uh, salt, sodium chloride, its freezing point will decrease. That means it will be negative, less than zero degrees Celsius then that will melt even at zero degrees Celsius, so the removal of ice is easy. Here you can see a radiator of a car. The radiators in cold countries, 
the water will solidify at a very low temperature. In order to avoid the problems due to the solidification of water in the radiator, we can mix it with uh, some other solutes. For example, ethylene glycol can be mixed with uh, water in the radiators. That will decrease the freezing point. Some practical applications. Now you can see some numerical problems. What is the first question? One gram of a non-volatile electrolyte solute dissolved in 50 gram of benzene lowered the freezing point of benzene by 0 0.40 Kelvin. The freezing point depression constant of benzene is 5.12 Kelvin kilogram per mole. Find the molar mass of the solute. Here one is W1, means mass of solute. 50 gram is W2, mass of solvent. 0 0.40 is delta Tf, depression of freezing point. And 5.12 is Kf, depression constant, a molar depression constant of benzene. Now what we have to find out? Molecular mass. Molecular mass of solute, you know the equation M2 is equal to 1000 Kf W2 divided by delta Tf into W1. Substitute the values. 1000 into 5.12 into 1 divided by 0 0.40 into 50 equal to 256 gram per mole. I think it is clear to you. Read the second question. A 5% solution by mass of cane sugar in water has freezing point of 271 Kelvin. Calculate the freezing point of 5% glucose in water. If freezing point of pure water is 273.15 Kelvin. So the first solution is cane sugar solution. That is 5% in concentration. Second solution is glucose solution. Also 5% in concentration. From the first solution, from the data so first solution, we can find out the depression of free, uh, sorry, the molal depression constant from the first data. 5% solution of cane sugar, what is the meaning? 5 gram cane sugar in 95 gram water. So W1, W2, we'll get it. Then 271 is the temperature of uh, freezing point of solution. What is the freezing point of pure solvent? Freezing point of pure solvent is uh, 273.15. So depression of freezing point that is equal to 273.15 minus 271 is equal to 2.15. Now substitute the values. Kf is equal to M2 into delta Tf into W1 divided by 1000 into W2. What is M2? 5 gram. Sorry, molecular mass, 342 gram. 342 gram into delta Tf, 2.15 into W195 divided by 1000 into W2, 5 gram. That is equal to 13.97. Kfc is equal to 13.97. Now we can take the case of glucose. What is W1 in the case of glucose? 5 gram. W2 again, 95 gram because it is a 5% solution. What is the molecular mass of glucose? 180. So here you have to find out the molecular uh, uh, delta Tf because you have to find out the freezing point of glucose solution. Delta Tf is equal to 1000 Kf W2 divided by M2 into W1. Substitute the values 1000 into 13.97 into 5 W2 5 divided by M2 180 into 95 is equal to 4.08. What is the freezing point of water? 273.15 minus 4.08 that will be the freezing point of glucose freezing point of 5% glucose solution is equal to 273.15 minus 4.08 is equal to 269.07 kelvin now a question related to uh, dip, uh, elevation of boiling point the boiling point of benzene is 353.23 kelvin when 1.80 gram of a non-volatile solute was dissolved in 90 gram benzene, the boiling point is raised to 354.11 Kelvin. Calculate the molar mass of solute. Kb for benzene is 2.53 Kelvin kilogram per mole. So here, all the data, uh, write down all the data given, delta Tb. 
that you have to find out as t2 minus t1 is equal to 354.11 minus t53.23 is equal to 0.88. Pure solvent and solution are given, boiling points are given. Then W2, W2 you can see 1.80 gram of non-volatile solute, 1.80 gram. W1 is equal to 90 gram, 90 gram benzene. And KB is equal to 2.53. All these things are given. Now, so write the equation. What is the equation? Equation is 1000 KB W2 divided by delta TB into W1, M2. M2 is equal to 1000 KB W2 divided by delta TB into W1. Substitute the value is equal to 1000 into 2.53 into 1.80 divided by 0 0.88 into 90 and calculate the answer and you can see the answer is equal to 58 gram per mole 58 gram per mole and it is enough for today and only one more colligative property is remaining that is osmotic pressure that we can see